Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel sfdcpractice.com. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how we can use the picklist field for our screen flow. Okay. And also we will uh, create different types of choice variable for our picklist field. And we will use the uh, different types of choice variable in our screen flow for those picklist field. Okay. So guys, before starting this, if you don't have uh, subscribed my channel, please subscribe this and please press the bell icon to get the uh, notification for my latest videos. Okay. So let's start. So for that one, what we will do, we will create a flow first. For that one, just search flow and go to the flow page and just click on this new flow button. Screen flow and click this create button. So now we need to create a screen. So for that one, just click on this plus icon and select this screen. And for this screen, just give a name like uh, pick list example. And uh, just drag the pick list field to your screen. Okay. So now just uh, configure this pick list field. And for that one, just go to the right panel and give your api name for this picklist field for example like uh, choice picklist choice picklist choice okay and so for choice variable we don't have any choice uh, we don't have any choice variable right now so what i don't we need to create just click on this new choice resource and in the resource type, you will get the different types of resources. For example, this choice, selection choice set, record choice set, pick list choice set. You can choose any of them. So currently I'll choose the choice. Okay. And I'll give the name as best. Or I can say pick list one. Okay. And for lab, choice level, I'll just give the name as pick list one. And uh, data type would be the text. And also here we'll select the pick list. Choice. Okay. Yeah. And click on done button. So your pick list one has been created and now just click on this add one and i will add another v pick list field for the for the same field okay so i'm just creating another choice and for this one i will give the name as pick list two and for label also will give the same as pick list two and for the variable i will select pick list choice just click on this done button okay so now you have two choices here pick list one and pick list two and just uh, click on this done button and save this flow first i just want to show you means uh, for this pick list field how we are getting the values in our screen flow okay so give the name as pick list example click save just click on this debug button and click on run so you are getting the pick list one and pick list two choice here. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, create a choice with the help of choice variable. Okay. So now guys, I will create a different pick list field. For that one, just search the pick list and drag this pick list to the screen. And for the configuration. So for label, just give the name as record choice. Because for this pick list field, we will use the uh, choice variable as the record choice variable. Okay. And for this configuration choice, go down and this in this choice, just create a new choice resource. And guys, this time we will uh, choose the record choice set. Okay. And after that, I will uh, show you how we can use the pick list choice set. And in the last, I will show you uh, the collection choice set. Okay. So just select this uh, record choice set and give the name as like record choices and for object for example like i want to show you the accounts so just 
select the object as account and for condition none and you also can define the uh, number of choice means for example like if you want to show the uh, 10 choices or 20 choices so you can uh, give that number here okay for example i'm giving the uh, number as 10 and uh, for choice level it should be the account name and if you want to uh, use another variable you also can use that one and for the data type text and the choice value would be the id of account or you also can uh, use the name here for example let, let's say uh, i'll select the name uh, for choice variable also and just click on this done button so your choice variable has been created here and just click on this done button and click on save so here uh, let's debug this flow again and let's see how we are getting the values in our second pick list field okay so just click on this debug button and click on this run so in this we have pick list one and pick list two and in this record choice we are getting the accounts name okay guys as i have set the value as 10 uh, for the record so you can see here we are getting the 10 records uh, let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and if i increase the number of that variable so you you also will get the other accounts as well so for that one what you need to do just go this and add it and in the number let's say i'm giving the number as 20 okay just click done and now save and debug this again so now you will get the more records let's count it again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 around 13 records we are getting okay so in this way uh, you can set the limits as well for your uh, record choice so guys i hope you have understood uh, till now and let's move ahead with another example so this time we will create a different pick list field for the uh, different pick list choice okay so for that one just add this element again and uh, search for the pick list just drag this here and give the name as like pick list choice uh, we already have pick list choice so, so uh, give some different name like pick list choice variable okay and uh, for choice just create a new choice again and this time we are going to select the pick list choice set so what we can uh, do for the pick list choice set we can select a field of type pick list uh, from any object for example in our account object we have a pick list field as type so we can select that uh, field and all the values of that type will be available for our pick list field as well okay so let's see how we can uh, use the uh, type field in our screen flow okay so i'm just giving the a name as type or i can say account type to get more clarity and select count and for data type uh, pick list and here you need to select your field that is account type okay you also can select your order for example ascending or de descending okay so i'm just selecting ascending order and just click done okay that's all for this and click done just save this and debug it again so let's say how we are getting the values this time okay so we are getting all the account types here like this okay so guys uh, so far we have discussed how we can create a choice variable how we can create a record choice variable and how we can uh, create a pick list choice variable okay and how we can use these uh, choice variables for our pick list field okay so now so now let's discuss how we can use the collection choice variable 
so for collection choice variable let's understand the requirement for example you already have uh, some records on your flow for example you get the account data or you uh, get the case data on your screen flow already and you want to use that collection in your screen right so you can use the existing data to create a pick list field for your screen let's say how we can create so first we need to create a get element so for that one just click on this plus icon so please remember we need to create that get element before this pick list okay because we are used we are going to use that uh, get element in our pick list okay so just click and select the get record and here i give the name as account or let's say this time I'm selecting the contact and for object also contact. I want to get all the records, select this all records element. And for this, I need uh, to get the selected fields only. So I'm just getting the full name and click done okay so our contact has been ready okay so now what we need to do we need, just need to edit this screen again and add one more component for pick list just drag this pick list to the screen and give the name as collection choice variable okay and for this just create a new choice and this time i will select this collection choice set and for this collection choice set i will select contacts from contact okay so from where these contacts are coming i have uh, created a element get contact and there is a variable contact okay so you are getting these values from there and now for choice level i will select the name as full name and for value i will select the id okay just oh give the name or as collection contact collection contact collection just click on this done button and done just click on save and debug it again and let's see how we are getting the values this time so for this collection choice variable we are getting the contacts record there okay so guys i hope you have understood how we can use the pick list choice in our screen flow in different way okay for example you can create a pick list field for your records and you also can pick uh, you also can create a pick list field for your existing field okay and you also can uh, make a custom pick list choice according to your need okay so i just want to uh, show you one more thing here let's say this time we are just able to select a only one uh, value here okay and if i want to uh, select the multiple values for this pick list field so how we can select that okay so before uh, before making those changes i just want to create another screen in which i will show you the selected values for our pick list okay so just create that screen and let's say give the name as output and here just select the display message okay and in the configuration part just for give the name as like message and select the resources here for example i have different types of pick list fields okay i will use those pick list choices here okay so how we can use the date for pick list choice i will select this and to highlight this pick list choice so that we can identify which value is for which and just go to the next and select the second variable that is account type okay 
like account type and next one is uh, for this one we need to select the pick list choice okay so next one is like collection for collection one let's go to the screen component and select the collection choice variable and the next one is record choice okay and select record choice from your screen component and just click on this done button and click on save so now let's see how we are getting the output for our selections okay so here i have selected pick list one here chain point here customer channel and here jack krogers select so here you will get the pick list choice as pick list one account type customer channel collection check joggers and record choice chain point so we are getting the values correctly here right but this time we are just able to select only one value and suppose i want to select multiple values so how i can select those so let's make a change for your flow what's wrong i just open this again so now just added this pick list example screen and here just you just need to uh, make a change that is in your configuration setting just check this box yes let's user select multiple option okay so if you select this one so you will be able to select multiple values for your pick list and let's say i make a change for this collection choice variable okay and now this will be uh, would be able to select multiple values just click on this run button and save and let's see how we are getting the screen now and how we can select the multiple values in our screen so now guys you can see here uh, we are getting the pick list value as this and if you want to select the multiple options now you will get the options like this okay so like if i select here three records and here only one here gen point and here this and click next so now you can see here i have select so now you can see here i am getting three records like rose and this and timber okay so in this way you can use the pick list values with different type of options in your screen flow and guys i will create a separate videos with a real time example to use the these different type of pick list okay so for now that's it guys and i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for today see you soon guys if you haven't subscribed this channel yet please subscribe this channel to get the real time update also hit the like button and also hit the bell not icon to get the notification thank you very much see you soon